Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in the NFL draft and number one in Madden because Caleb Williams doesn't have a card. Like he just, he's just not in the game. Don't know what the deal with that is, but Jaden Daniels has 96 speed. In last video, we actually used Drake May who also has 96 speed. I know Drake May is definitely mobile in real life, but I feel like 96 is definitely a little disrespectful towards Jaden. 98 throw power, all of his accuracies are pretty decent though. Let's check out his abilities. No special X factors at all for Jaden Daniels or any of the rookie cards in general, which definitely hurts. I mean, it's late April. I feel like that really separates quarterbacks this late in the game. He does, however, have gift wrapped in the first slot, built in for free. It's normally one AP, so that saves you one. Again, not really a big deal. I'm actually going with Roaming Deadeye over Gunslinger right here. And then I'm using Quick Draw in the previous slot for 2 AP. So it's basically like Gunslinger, but only when I'm under pressure. I like to have both of these abilities ideally. Unfortunately, you can't with Jaden. I do have Sefi Lee here. I'm paying all five AP for it because in his last two buckets, he does not get it discounted. I'm using Fearless, which is normally four. Definitely nice to have there. No under pressure throws. And then Master Tactician is actually free. I think he's the first quarterback to get it for free. Conductor, Hot Route Master, and then Playmaker all built in. So three different abilities for free and they're all very, very useful. Here's the squad we're gonna be rocking with Jaden Daniels. I actually just picked up this Mark Bavaro. He just came out on Saturday. It's currently Sunday as I record this. Tank built in for free. He has Jukebox for free and Leapfrog. So this guy is an absolute yak monster here. He's 6'4 and 97 speed, normally 96. I didn't know he was an Eagle, which is pretty exciting. I actually have 25 Eagles, 25 Falcons, plus one speed to everybody who played for either of those teams. Another card here, I actually had this guy last video, but obviously a brand new card as well. JC Latham must have card. He's like 600K, which isn't crazy expensive. Definitely a little pricey, uh, but secure protector for free and nasty streak for free as well. Every other offensive lineman in the game who has this ability for free, which by the way, this is the best offensive line ability in the game, hands down. Counters inside stuff, unstoppable force, Colossus, just any defensive line ability is completely neutralized by Secure Protector. And JC Latham, one of the few guys in the game who gets it for free. So you save AP and he's probably the cheapest of the bunch as well. Well, actually, Andrew Thomas is probably pretty cheap. Whitworth is probably pretty cheap as well, although you have to have the lighted up token for him and then haven't seen probably cheap as well. So there's definitely a couple cheap ones, but you probably need five if you want good pass protection. And then just real quickly, here's the defense. Not too much has changed tomorrow though. They're dropping Legion of Boom cards. So Sherman, Chancellor, Irvin, pretty excited for that. The defense should change here shortly. We're currently 4-0 on the season. Last game was against Dogwater Chubb, who we played in last video. I think that was an OT thriller. Apparently he just played Throne in a video as well. So that guy's just matching up with all the YouTubers right now. That game was recorded at 9 a.m. on like a Friday, I wanna say. The time before that, I played at like 1 p.m. on a Tuesday. Now it's currently 11.30 p.m. on a Sunday night. So again, we're hitting all the different demographics. Cryonic bead. I think this guy's actually super sweaty. Like really, really sweaty. All right, this guy's under center. If he starts rolling out, I'm actually gonna be pissed because Listen, I enjoy Madden right now. I enjoy the game until I match up with somebody who is running under center rollout. And, you know, to be honest, it's probably my fault. I feel like I kind of put it on the map two weeks ago on this channel. It is just AIDS. Like, I actually have no clue how to stop it. If anybody says they know how to stop it, they're literally just lying. Contains do not work. QB spies do not work. You know, curl flat zones in zero yards. I don't know, that was not proper English. I mean, look at this guy. Uh, okay, well this guy's trying to do the rollout cheese, but he's just actually ass. Like, nice throw, man. Curl yard, curl, curl flat zones set to zero in your coaching adjustments. There we go. I don't know, I just froze for a second. Uh, but yeah, those don't work either. User rushing, I guess, could work, like user containing. But the problem with that is what happens if they go left and then you're anticipating right. If you even think about where they're going for a second, the quarterback is way too fast for you to catch up. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm sure people will be like, oh, you gotta do this and that, like in my comments. Like, no, you cannot stop it, bro. You cannot stop it. Oh my God, he got an A gap. Jaden Daniels, that ball out. Good job, Jaden. Let's go, baby. I mean, he just got an A gap. He's running quarters, 
quarters cover two man, bro. He rushed three people, and Aaron Donald was just in my ass. Runs man again here. Oh, yeah, we got him. Oh, my God, that release is so slow. That, dude, he just wound up so crazy. I mean, wow, that was that was brutal. I won't lie. Not a good first impression with Jaden Daniels. It was a touchdown, however, so I will not complain too much. But if my opponent ever starts blitzing, we might be in some serious trouble. All right, so we're going to audible here to single bag wing. And then I would assume we're going to roll out. Ooh, he's got Brock Bowers. I heard that card's kind of nice. He has, like, free short and elite. I think he might be the only tight end in the game that gets that. So, I mean, I don't really see a lot of man coverage. But in that case, he wouldn't be able to man up Bowers. I think he gets good jukes as well. Anybody who wastes... Here it is. Here's the... Uh, Here's the under center wing slot here that people love to run. Super fucking annoying to play against. Yep, there it is. I mean, come on, bro. What are the chances? First game we play somebody doing this freak shit. Now, thankfully for me, this is... This dude's clinically blind. And uh, frankly, just ass. But anybody with a pair of functioning eyes who runs this shit, man, just impossible to stop. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm going to run a little cover six here. Doing a lot of hot routes. Going to try to roll out here. There is the contain. Five-man contain. Shifted to the side of the quarterback. Not a chance in the world of keeping him in the pocket. Fun, man. Just absolute. The fact that people play like this for 4,000 virtual coins on a Sunday night. I mean, it just any any time, any day of the week. I don't know why I pointed out Sunday, Sunday there specifically, but it just it blows my mind. It's flabbergasting. Is that a word? I have no idea. Now, the annoying thing about this wing slot formation in particular is the fact that a lot of people like to run RPOs. There's my contain. Just dumb out, roll out, cross body, perfect accuracy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You guys are welcome to type suggestions down below in the chat. Like, well, not the chat. I'm not streaming. The comment section. I'm used to streaming. I don't know. Does it fucking matter, dude? This shit's got me pissed off already. Now, between Jaden... Oh, shit. He's got a little loop blitz there. Bavaro cooking his man. Let's go, baby. Let's go. He's got universal coverage on Woolen. I think that takes nine plays to turn on. Once that turns on, Bavaro might be strapped for the rest of the game. But let me know uh, Let me know again. I'm, just, I'm asking you guys to do a lot of shit. Suggestions for stopping rollouts. Now I want to know... Between the top three quarterbacks in the drafts are Drake May, Jaden Daniels, and then Caleb Williams, obviously. Who is going to have the best career? I think it's going to be, even as a Pats fan, I think it's going to be Caleb Williams. A lot of people hate on him for stuff, I think, outside of football. I personally don't care about all that shit. I think he's going to be insane. Plus, he actually walks into, like, a tremendous situation with the Bears, which is, like, a little surprising to say because the Bears are just historically ass. Maybe not, like, 1985. You know, all, all the way back then, but like for the last two decades, they've been absolutely terrible. Dot, by the way. Um, but I think Drake May is going to have a better career than Jay and Daniels. Not Caleb. And that might be Pat's fan bias, but between the two, I wanted Drake. And I'm happy we got him. Now, I would like to see Jay and Daniels do well. You know what I mean? He doesn't play for like a rival team or anything like that. Like, I don't dislike the guy. It's just. I would have preferred Drake May. I think he's got a little bit more arm talent. Jane Daniels throws a great deep ball. He's obviously super athletic, a great runner, but he seems fragile, right? He seems fragile. He's not the biggest dude ever. You know, he's 6'4", but in terms of, like, weight and strength, not really there. And he's a guy in college who was not afraid to just run into contact. I've seen some clips of him flipping over, like, 11 defenders and just barreling into hit six. I've seen him get lit up before. And dudes in the NFL are going to be twice as big, twice as strong, twice as fast. So obviously, you know, his durability, I feel like, might be an issue. I mean, we saw it with, with Cam Newton, right, with RG3. Some incredible, incredible quarterbacks with tons of talent that injuries kind of derailed their career. I mean, this guy is just... Uh, this is fun to play against, man. Th this is a blast. This is awesome, man. Plus, the commanders, like... That's definitely not a bad offense whatsoever. Jahan Dotson, uh, a Commanders fan was telling me just recently that he didn't have a very good, like, recent season. His rookie season was great. Obviously, Scary Terry. I don't even know who is their tight end. Isn't it, like, Logan Thomas? I don't think their offensive line is terrible. I could be wrong about that, too, but... And then the running back. The running back's Brian Robinson, right? It's not a terrible situation to be in offensively, like... 
you know, coming from a Pats fan, it, it could it could be worse. It could be worse. It could definitely be worse. I'm, I mean, dude, like, this guy's already turned the ball over. I think my plan from this point forward is just bend but don't break. Hopefully he just fucks up and makes another terrible decision, which, I mean, anybody running an offense like this is probably going to be prone to making some bad mistakes. I'm going to try shifting to the side, too. I mean, it's not going to make a difference. Like, look at my contain, dude. He just engaged with the center. And then the worst part about it is, like, when you roll out, the zones just dumb out on top of it. It's not like, you know, I could just play better coverage. Like, the clouds and the purples and the deep blues, they all get pulled by the quarterback escaping the pocket. So, yeah, I don't know. This is just a miserable offense to play against, dude. But like I said, this guy's brain dead on defense, so hopefully he never stops us. He shouldn't. Knock on wood. Oh, oh, I fumped Jaden. No, Jaden, no. Oh, my God. Jaden, you cannot fumble, bro, to Bo Jackson, dude. I think I got to set up a different defense here. This is not going to work. We're going to try 6-1, and I mean... I I don't know, dude. I I honestly don't know how to stop this. Not not a fucking clue in the world. I like every time he runs, though. I feel like it's a waste of a play. Let's call a timeout here. And uh, let's try to hold a three. Hopefully, he just turns it over, too. That'd be nice. Let's see if he runs stretch here. He's gonna. He might go stretch to the right. I'm going to try to shoot it with Brooks if he does. He does. Look at... Come on, man. Look at the user. Look at the user. Look at the user, man. Sit him out. Sit him... Don't know what just came out of my mouth. I think I, I tried to yell, sit him down. And, uh, yeah, we won't talk about it. I'm just going to blitz everybody, protect sticks here, basically tell everybody to sit at the uh, the first down marker, which is basically the end zone. And, yep, I blitz sticks with contains, and he rolled out. The zone dumbed out, got pulled down. He had it for a touchdown. Thankfully, somebody pursued pretty well. And, uh, oh, okay, you're feeling a little confident here, buddy, aren't you? Now, was that, ba who was that? Was that Bowers? Was that Calvin Johnson? He's obviously going to roll to the left here. I might just try to use or contain him. He's going to run the same thing. I'm going to sprint out left. If he goes right, I lose. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you guess right, that might be the best way to do it. You, you have a 50-50 chance, right? What a sorry-ass Madden player this guy is. Man coverage with a bunch of universal coverages, just no adjustments, and then just roll around with your quarterback and try to dumb out the defense. All right, so he's finally taken away this vertical route, which is an amazing man-beater. Let's put a Texas route on the field. He can't guard both. One of them is going to beat man. There it is. Blue pass. Dickerson. I have, like, wrecking ball on him. The uh, the downside of using Jane Daniels with the stack that I'm using is that uh, we don't have a single AP left over for Dickerson to put on freight train or uh, angry runs. That's the other X factor on him. So our run game is going to be pretty lackluster today, although we're not really trying to run. We're trying to give it to Jaden Daniels. This guy's brain dead, man. Literally a brain dead Madden player just trying to abuse abuse shit on offense and defense. Not sure how that wasn't intercepted. I won't lie to you. Not a fucking clue. No idea, but we won't talk about it, man. We'll just call it a dot because he's basically just giving up the same thing every play. Oh, come on. Uh, come on. Oh, Dickerson. Oh, I have no timeouts. Oh, oh, my God. I have no timeouts. Oh, my God. I have no timeouts. Oh, I'm an idiot. Dickerson's dead tired, too. Wow, I have to score on this play. He sent the guy closest to him. <laughs> and it was the guy manned up on Dickerson. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. Jaden Daniels. Come on, baby. Holy shit. Last video, we screwed up before half. And right there, we almost did, too. For some reason, I thought I was the one with three timeouts. That was almost really bad. All right, let's see a little Jaden uh, from Shotgun here. PA boot over. Orange pass, but it got there. We'll take it. Nine for 11, 217, three touchdowns. Not bad. Not bad from Daniels, man. Not bad. Dude, holy shit. Nobody got open. Make a move, Jaden. Don't make a move, Jaden. Don't make a move at all, buddy. That was, I mean, <laughs> questionable acceleration right there. Last year when Spinner was super good, I went to this route combo a ton.
I mean, dude, I'm just going back to this. I'm just going back to this. I have to. Hopefully, uh... Oh, this guy came in free this time. I mean, dude, this is aw... This is... How does a guy like this have, have fun playing the game, man? Like, you don't make a single adjustment on defense, and you just run... Like... You know what? Good for you, bro. Good for you. I'm looking wheel here. Dude. Jaden... That was, wow, man, almost to the wide receiver. He, it's not really your fault, Jaden. I mean, I, I blocked my tight end, slid left, which is the way he blitzed from. He sent three, maybe four people at most, and, and two guys came in free, man. It's not your fault. It's not your fault this game is dog shit. I cannot lose to this, dude. I can't lose to this ratty piece of shit, bro. I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's double quarter the side. Let's hard flat Zaven, so if he rolls out. We do have edge that elite on Zaven. So if Zavin gets anywhere near him, he should get an under pressure throw. Stretch here. Blitz the outside corner to stop it. We make a tackle. There we go, boys. Come on. Fight for me down here. We don't give up. Same thing. Pass commit. Take away the RPO. Blitz the outside corner. He goes to the RPO. Troy Palomalu, man. You need a job, buddy. You need to get a job. You're trash. I think I'm going to try some zig routes this drive. Some zigs, more drags. Try to get some rubs going. Who doesn't love a good rub? Calvin? 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 Yo, Kyle Hamilton is not that fast, bro. Calvin Johnson is 99 speed. How are we getting caught? Oh, he's got short route KO, medium. I mean, this guy's a freak, huh? Let's try a zig here. Let's see if that gets open. I mean, not really. I mean, that's what we got going on right now. It's it's really the angle route. If he doesn't use her that, I mean, I feel like it should be there pretty much every time. Hamilton almost picked it off once. I feel like that was honestly just lucky for my opponent, to be honest. I don't think he can can consistently guard that. Get up, get up, Dickerson, get up. <laughs> Honestly, what a user tackle attempt from my opponent. Not bad. Quarters on the one yard line, though, is just insane, dude. Like, not, there's not a single thought coursing through my opponent's brain right now. It's just pure emptiness. All right, all we need is one stop here. Put the sorry bitch to bed. I'm going to start waging war against these under center rollout kids, man, because... Hey, they're just emerging out of the woodworks lately, man. They are just... They're everywhere. They're everywhere, and they are annoying as shit. Ooh. I'm going to shift right here. I'm just going to shift to his dominant hand. He runs dive. Is he going to try to milk and make this the last drive and then just go for two? doesn't have two clock on, so I'm not sure if that's his plan just yet. All right, I'm going to shift right. I'm blitzing six. I have contains. I'm going to crash right as well. Anybody who says they have defense for this is literally just lying. Just lying. And he's onside kicking in a tied game with 324 left. Honestly, I was just going to try to score. Oh, we tried to do the scum one too. If you don't use with that guy... Uh, he'll get it pretty much every single time. Yeah, this guy, this is a nasty Madden player right here. Honestly, I might just try to milk. Just because, like, fuck him. Honestly. Like, fuck him and, and the way he plays. It's a disrespectful play style, so I'm just going to disrespect him. And this is the last time. That's the last time you'll see the football, buddy. I promise you. Okay, well, Aaron Donald has something to say about that one, dude. Like, just, okay, man. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> like... <laughs> Is that J.C. Latham who just got shit on? Man, I was just telling everybody to go get him, too. Just a lot of short routes here that should beat man. I think I had the running back for a touchdown there, but I told y'all, he's not seeing the ball again. He don't deserve it. I'm going to be real disrespectful. All right, Jaden, show us what you're made of, kid. Let's go with a little outside zone here. Should work well against man. Juke back to the left. Nice pickup. Let's go, Dickerson. All right, we're going to chew clock here. 
I'm going to give him the same run. I think the only way to, to really stop this is to uh, to baseline. He's not baselining. I get a nice user right there. I won't lie. That was a nice user. That was a nice user. But no underneath zone, so no flats. So two drags here. Dickerson on a Texas route. A first down pretty much seals this one. Can't stop the Texas route, man. Go down. Don't give him the ball back. You know, a better man might have just scored there and said, you know what? Give this guy a money drive. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve it, cryonic bread. Fuck you, buddy. Now, he's in quarters down here, which I would say maybe he's trying to let me score. But uh, I think he's just committed to his defense. In gold, up to the one. Let's go QB sneak here. I don't mind scoring now. I mean, we would leave him with basically no time left. Still quarters. Quarters against goal line in the one. A lot of faith. Might need a replay on that one. Like, what? <laughs> How is that not a touchdown? All right, he's in goal line finally. I'm going to hit him with the power here to the right. Let's see if this works. I got sacked on the handoff. It did not work. <laughs> it did not. It did not work, dude. Oh, man. I'm going to be really disrespectful, boys. He anticipated the fake. Why would you be in field goal safe there? That just doesn't even make any sense. Why would you not, like, why would you not try to block that? You're, like, just conceding defeats. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's what I get. Look what he just threw, bro. Look what he just threw. Look at these under center kids, man. I tried zoning out my, <laughs> my defensive ends there because he's probably double teaming them and allowing the edge blitzer to come in free. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just zone them out. That doesn't work either. I dragged my guys all the way out, and that's a safety. How is that not a safety? Okay, that might have been the move, though. But, I mean, what happens if they just quick snap me? I have to, like, manually... Ooh, he's in goal line. I'm going to shoot this in the backfield, boys. If he passes here and bombs me, good for him. I'm going to contain here and try to stuff this. If he goes QB sneak, we could blow it up for safety. If he tries to roll out, I'm containing. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. These rollout kids are just so stupid. They lack so much game sense and just overall awareness. It's absolutely comical. What an idiot. What, uh, that's, that's a great one. That's a great feeling right there, beating a dude like that. That's a great fucking feeling, boys.